Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you want to know how I achieved this look, keep watching. All right, y'all, so here we go. My freshly washed one inch hair. So the items that we're going to use today are a rat tail comb, rubber bands, and eight packs of the Janet Collections Natural Born Locks in 18 inches. Now I'm just making sure my hair is thoroughly combed through. Then I'm going to take my rat tail comb and make little puff balls with my rubber bands. So here's how my hair looks after I put all the rubber bands in. And if you're feeling spicy like I did, I kept it in for a few days and left it just like this. So here's how the 18 inch locks look fresh out the pack. I personally don't think that this length is cute, so I'm going to add some length to it and double it. Alright guys, so I'm going to try my hardest to explain this. So I'm going to take one lock, take the end out about one to two inches then I'm going to take another lock and with this and take the side with the loop at the top I'm going to tie the end of one and the top and the end of the other together if you guys kind of get what I'm doing just watch and you'll understand I'm going to take the end of one and the top of the other and I'm going to tie it together So now I'm tying the hair till I feel the hold is strong enough. Usually about four to five ties should be good. Now that the two pieces are securely tied together, I'm going to tuck away the two end pieces by slightly separating one end of the lock and tucking the leftover piece away and doing the same on the other side as you guys can see. Now that my lock is at the desired length that I wanted, it's time for me to install it. Now I'm gonna take the top part of the crochet with the loop and use a rubber band to lock the rubber band and the crochet together. After attaching the rubber band to the crochet, I'm just gonna use the rubber band and securely rubber band the crochets into my little puffs. All right guys, so this is the last but most important step. So now I'm just gonna take another one of the 18 inch locks and divide it into two. After dividing it into two, I'm gonna cut it in half. This step is important because this is how you blend your natural hair and the lock together. So right here, I am just pulling apart the ends of this piece that I cut in half. This is a good step because you don't want the ends of it to be too straight or too bulky. You want it to like have like shabby type of ends, if you get what I mean. Now taking the lock that I split into two, starting at the root where I attached my real hair and the dread, I'm going to slowly wrap that piece around my hair to get like a good lock around. And the goal is to keep wrapping until you can't wrap no more. So this is how the first piece looks when I'm done. This is how every single one of them will look once you're done. Nice long 36 inch lock. One way to get this styled in faster is by pre-making the twist. So 
So here's how my hair looks after I just got about half of it done. If you can see in my face, I'm just ready to get this hairstyle over and done with. Finally, I made it to the top of my head. I got my last two locks to go. So here I'm just showing you guys the process of doing the locks slowly and better. So as I was going, I felt like I got better at it because this is my first time trying this out. So I want you guys to watch till the end and just to see how I changed the process of me doing it. Slightly changed, not a lot, but just changed a few things. So here I go again, just dividing the lock into two and I'm gonna use it to wrap around my hair just the way I did before. All right, so I tried to get as up close as possible with this. So I'm just going to, going to bend the hair in half like I did before, but one side is gonna be shorter than the other, as you guys can see. So I'm gonna take the shorter side first and then start wrapping it around probably about three or four times. Then after that, I'm gonna switch over and start wrapping around the longer side. To me, switching over between the two sides kind of gives me like this locked feeling. I really feel like my hair is secure and locked and won't show through the hair. Now I'm gonna make the hair longer like I did in the beginning. So I'm just dividing it into two. Then I'm gonna grab the other piece, the other 18 inch lock. At the top, I'm gonna just put it right through the top, just the same way I did before. tie knot in the front then flip it over and then tie knot in the back like I did before I'm gonna do it about four times but now another change that I made was I started adding nail glue to it so nail glue just gives it like an extra hold so that it won't fall apart so after I do about two ties on each side I put nail glue at the top then do another tie over it just to give it that secure hold like after putting nail glue I promise you it's not gonna fall apart. It's not even gonna think about moving at all. So now I'm just using my hands to rub it together to give that messy interlock look. So now I'm just using the scissors to cut off the excess part because using the nail glue really locked it together so it definitely will not fall apart. So now we are finally, finally, finally at the last lock. So I'm gonna speed through this part while you guys watch me do the last lock. Just in case you missed anything, try to pick up any pointers, but I'm doing the same exact thing as what I did in the past. Just doing the last lock and I'm happy and I'm ready to slay my locks. Oh my God, guys, so after about three days of doing this hairstyle, I am finally done. I'm excited 
and it looks so good I really did good like I want to give myself a round of applause because I really did good and this is how it looks natural long 36 inch and it falls like right below my foot and I'm just excited and I love this hairstyle like I'm definitely going to be doing it again I hope I helped you guys I hope I helped someone out and um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. See you later. Thank you.